So everyone check out this video Cletus you know put out a little bit about Parker and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it and go ahead and comment and tell me what you think or tell me what you don't like about what I have to say or what Cletus says. Welcome to the Cletus 2 channel. I know I've been taking a lot of heat on the internet since yesterday's video where we did the Cletus and Cars event. And honestly, you guys can say whatever you want about me. Put myself in this position and I'm prepared to face the consequences. But this video is not about me. This is about Parker, who took an injury, our first ever serious injury at Cletus and Cars after four years of running events. And that's what today's video is about. As many of you probably saw, I turned off the comments on last night's video. I simply cannot allow people to spew untrue things for four about years and we've been lucky to make it this far until we've had our first incident just this last weekend that was so serious we actually had to have a bay flight to pick Parker up and take him to the local hospital. So Parker showed up in his fox body buggy like he has plenty of times before, started doing a ripper burnout. Now unfortunately, the major issue with this incident is that the radiator was in the back of Parker's car. Typically, the radiator being on the front of the cars, this wouldn't have been an issue. But his radiator being on the back of the car, he was doing a massive burnout as you know, the coolant temperatures, they heat up and heat up and heat up. Well, it hasn't been a problem before, but unfortunately, his radiator hose separated from the radiator, blasting hot water onto his back. What's going on, guys? Raymond here. So, lately, Cletus McFarland has been getting a lot of crap over, you know, what happened with Parker. You know, Parker knew the danger and the risks of having a car with a radiator behind the seat. Having a host make them or not make them, they still have a choice to wear safety equipment. I mean, he could have wore a fire suit or made other measures like a, a, a wall in between him and, you know, what potentially could have happened. If he was at Cletus and Cars or if he was at his shop, a parking lot, garage, it, it don't really matter. He was going to do it. Regardless, so I bet if you asked him if he would build that car over again, he would probably a million times over. He had a great time. He's had a great time with it, and he's going to continue to. I mean, I bet he's going to fix it, and he's going to do it again. May or may not add, you know, something to keep him a little bit more safe. People make their own choices. Cletus didn't make him do anything. And nobody else did either. He decided to go and do it on his, you know, own volition. Instead of, you know, complaining to Cletus, why not ask him about, you know, what safety measures he's going to, like, implement to make sure this doesn't happen again. I think what we all need to do is just wish Parker a quick recovery, you know, and can't wait to see him get back out there and do it again. I mean, maybe this time it'll be a little bit safer. He'll wear a fire suit. You know, fix the car to where, you know, it's not going to, you know, be in pending danger. But there's a GoFundMe right now, and if you can, just try to help him out, you know. Yes, it was his own fault, but, you know, everyone needs a little bit of help, especially whenever they've made their own choice in doing so. And uh, that's all I've got on this. Keep watching for uh, new videos. I'm going to have some interviews with people. You know, some people you all know or may not know. And it's going to be a great time. See ya.